What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reeboks Monday. I don't have a box to open for you this week. I normally shake, actually, where's the lid? There we go, guys. <laughs> Best I can do. All right, uh, yes, uh, a bit of a funny intro there. Uh, today's episode is brought to you by Twice Diecast. Yes, I'm sure that a lot of you know exactly who Twice Diecast is. Uh, and if you don't, there is a link to his channel down below. Be sure to go over, check it out because uh, it's got an absolutely amazing channel to be honest and he's got such a wealth of knowledge also. So yes, go over, check out Twice Diecast here on YouTube. And yeah, and from me to Dave, thank you very, very much for this. Absolutely awesome. Get this box unwrapped. I'm so excited, this is incredible. So yes, thank you very much to Twice Diecast. This is like Christmas. Wow, look at the size of this box. This box is enormous. All right, let's see if we can uh, turn this around. Oops. Turn that around there. Uh, hopefully that's all right. Um, we'll go this side here. All right. Let's get this guy open. I'm trying to be as fast as possible, guys. This is so exciting. Yes, I, I just got home uh, a couple of hours ago and this was waiting for me, so... So excited. So, so excited. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. What do we have in here? I hope I didn't open it uh, the wrong way around. But this is very, very well packaged. All oh, right. Um, I think I did actually open it the wrong way around. Uh, can we just go... See if we can reach in here. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, pull some of the packaging out. I'm sure that this was all packaged to be kept separate. Oh, there's something there that I can see. <laughs> I'll leave that to the side for a second. Oh, where do I want to start? Uh, actually, we'll leave those there. Let's start with these. I can see something hiding right here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yes, it's a, a, uh, an M2. These things are so hard to find in stores here. Uh, there's only a couple of, to be honest, there's only actually really one store which ever actually uh, regularly gets these in. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of very, very hard to find. This is one of the Detroit muscle cars. The 1966 Chevrolet Corvette 427. And uh, yeah, that's so awesome. So awesome, look at the detail on that. It's got a full painted engine bay. Oh wow, that is so, so cool. Um, what have we got? Oh, I was about to open it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to uh, over 42 parts. Wow, okay, I don't know if I want to open that now. Um, <laughs> uh, Dave, if you're watching, if you want me to open this up, I'm going to put that question out to you for what gets opened out of these things. That is amazing. Wow. Wow. Uh, this might be a long episode, guys, so I suggest you go and get uh, comfortable. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Oh, wow, we've got another M2. This one's a Dodge Super B. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, in Australia, we have a uh, Super Roo. <laughs> that's all right, that's pretty cool. I do like that. That's really nice metallic gold paint, that too. Yes, I am partial to a gold car, I will admit. Oh, that's awesome. The 1971 Dodge Charger Super B. Oh, that's awesome. It looks like it has opening doors on there as well. Oh, that's incredibly cool. That is so, so cool. Yes, I do like that a lot. Awesome. It's got the uh, picture on the back there as well. Oh, thank you so much for that. That's so awesome. Pop that up there. Uh, what else do we have? Um, I'm trying to get to the stuff at the bottom first because I know that this was packed in specifically for uh, a particular order to come out. I'm positive of that, so I might just... Be careful that I don't 
There we go. I think that this was the way that these are supposed to come out. Oh, wow, look at that. Wow, that's so nice. Very, very cool. Uh, this is the Dodge Charger. Yes, the SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at the color on that. That is so nice. This is Octane Red Poly. Ooh, that is so, so cool. I do like that. Uh, is Auto World the one which has the Ultra Red? Is this an Ultra Red? Is that what they call this one? Or is that just the color there? I don't know, that's awesome, wow. That is so nice. Yes, that is really, really nice. I'm sorry that I'm not giving up too much information on these. I'm just kind of in awe of how cool these look. But yeah, Auto World, uh, true 164 scale cars. Uh, beautifully presented there. Nice detailing on there as well. Wow. Yes. That's so cool. Uh, once again, Auto World and Johnny Lightnings are quite hard to come by these days. There was a period when Kmart Australia had them, uh, but that lasted about three months and then they stopped uh, stocking the shelves of all their Auto World and um, Johnny Lightnings. So, yeah, so happy to have that. That is so cool. I re definitely would have wanted to buy this one if it was on the, uh, the shelves here in Australia. That is so cool. Very, very nice. All right, what do we have next? Oh, wow, yes. Uh, speaking of Johnny Lightning, this is an Aston Martin, the James Bond car. And this one here is in Rossa Rubina Chiara. Wow. That is super nice. I, I do collect the uh, James Bond uh, Aston Martin DB5s. Uh, so this will be perfect to go into my collection. That is incredible. Yes, that is so, so cool. Got the license plate details and everything. I like that, I like the wheels. They're pretty nice. Yeah, that is so cool. Wow, thank you so much, Dave. That is awesome. Very nice. And there's the uh, James Bond color one just there. Wow. That's so cool that they're red as well. Uh, it's pretty obvious that red is my favorite color. I mean, I'm even wearing, wearing a red jumper at the moment. <laughs> yes, I do like the color red. Oh, wow. What do we have here? Let's get this packaging out of the way. What is this? I'd say uh, a green light, green machine, uh, hitch and tow race pack. Wow, that's awesome. They have a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado and a 1969 Chevy Camaro RS with the enclosed car hauler. And it has the Texaco uh, petrol station livery all over it. Wow, that's awesome. Uh, there's the uh, green machine wheels and the green machine base. Oh, that's nice. And uh, let's have a look at the car. That is so cool. Wow. That is awesome. I uh, love how it has the nice little, uh, uh, it's a nice little kit, I will say. Nice details all over them. Oh, that is so nice. That is so cool. Wow. Uh, yes, the uh, racing hitch and tow green light, green machine, uh, Texaco thing. Awesome. Uh, there's the back information there. It also has a little uh, trailer jack and everything like that enclosed. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to put this one here on display with my Smokey and the Bandit uh, pack that I have here from which uh, Chase and Diecast Cars gave me. So it'll be a nice little, uh, nice little pairing of those two together. That'd be cool. Oh, wow. John Wick. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the John Wick movies, you, got, you have to go and watch them. They are so funny. Uh, just, yeah, very, very old school way of making movies where it's just more about uh, a cheap, uh, cheap storyline and lots of action fight scenes and stuff like that. Yes, and uh, big fan of Keanu Reeves as well. So that is so awesome. Love that a lot. Wow, that's super, super cool. A very nice Plymouth Cuda, a Plymouth Barracuda. Uh, no way back, one way out. Oh wow, that's awesome. And uh, there's some more information on the back there for the movie. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, 
you definitely know what I like, I have to say. That's super cool. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, we have a Shelby Cobra. Uh, not Shelby Cobra, a Shelby Mustang. Uh, there we go, the 2021 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500 Carbon Fiber Track Pack. Wow, <laughs> that's cool. That is very, very cool. And uh, this is in Twister Orange with Black Racing Stripes. Ooh, very nice. Nice black wheels as well. Uh, nice detailing all over the front there. That is so nice as well. I love that bright orange color and all the details are all painted on correctly. Yes, uh, once again, Auto World, true 164 scale cars, just awesome. And this looks like it has the opening bonnet there. So yeah, I think we might actually open this one here up in a future episode. Uh, there we go, there's the back there. That's so nice. That is very, very nice. Awesome. I just still can't get over how awesome these cars are. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> we have the Nissan 400Z and uh, Hobby Lobby stickers. I might actually keep those on there uh, just because I like to keep those sorts of souvenirs on uh, there from gifts and such like that. Uh, there's the paint job there. XJS KH3, uh, Ikazuki yellow and super black and gold wheels wow and there we go the 2023 nissan z or the 400z uh, depending on which way you want to look at it it's got a little wing on the back there oh, that's nice nice details on there uh, this also looks like it has the opening bonnet also and uh, the front there you have a uh, nice big intercooler possibly or grill yeah that's super nice as well yeah I like the card art for that uh, we will definitely open this one here up, I think. Uh, in a uh, Probably next Monday we might open that one here up. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to find spots to put things because this is a little bit in the way. Um, <laughs> what are these? What are these? Oh, wow! Off The off-road rally set. I haven't even seen this set. Oh, God. How many are there? <laughs> wow. <coughs> Look at that. We have a whole set of the Matchbox off-road rally cars. Oh, that's awesome. That is so awesome. Let's just put a couple of those down there and we'll have a look at these. Wow. There we go. Matchbox off-road rally. And this is a 1976 Scout 4x4. Lovely purple paint on that. Nice detailing on the side. Big off-road wheels with white trim. Uh, has the spare wheel in the back there. A white front bull bar and bash plate on the front. And uh, yeah, white bumper on the back. That's so cool. Now uh, there's the cars that are in the set there. And uh, yeah, that's so awesome. Once again, great cars, great, great cars. Oh yes, the 1968 Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Uh, well loved by a lot of Australians, I have to say, because these things are just about everywhere. And uh, this is really nice. Nice gold paint job, metallic gold paint job. Have the MBX livery on the side there with the black and orange striping, a little bit of gray striping just there. Around the back there, we have the doors, a little license plate section there. Yeah, that's nice. Simple and nice. Just got black bumpers front and back. Yeah, I do like that. I do quite like that one. Wow, very nice. Uh, next up we have the 2018 Chevy Colorado Extreme. Uh, we also get these here in Australia. Uh, so these are very, very cool. We don't get we don't get the Chevy version, we just get the Holden uh, variant, I guess you would call it. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. I don't know if we have any of them nowadays since uh, Holden doesn't really exist anymore, but I'm positive that we have the 2016 Holden uh, Chevy Colorado Extreme. That's cool. Very nice blue paint. There's the, uh, so I say XR2 on the ZR2. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. The roof rack area has got a snorkel as well. Yeah, I do like the look of that. 
and uh, it's only got half white details on there. I don't know if you can see that, but they're only on the side. Uh, they're not actually on the front of the lights. They're just, they're actually half, half of a tempo. That's hilarious. That is so funny. I'm gonna pop that over there. Uh, next up, we have the Ridge Raider. That's cool. Uh, there we go, there's the Ridge Raider there. Uh, it's kind of like a, a pearl white silver kind of color. It's a very strange looking color. It is definitely a pearl white, but it does lean towards a uh, silver on there. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Ridge Raider livery on the side with some mud splatter, some off-road wheels. We even get a wing on the back there. Around the front there, some nice headlight details, a few extra spotlights down there by the looks of it. Uh, bonnet detailing also. And then we have spare wheels in the back there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool for a fantasy casting. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that. Very cool. All right, uh, last two cars. The Volkswagen, uh, there we go, the 1990 Volkswagen Golf Country. I just look at that picture there, that looks hilarious. Uh, thrashing around in the dirt. There we go, nice bright orange color. Have the Falcon livery, uh, Bilstein, and Golf. That's pretty cool, number 75. Uh, the, the, the wheels don't really look like off-road wheels, but they do look pretty cool nonetheless. Um, but yeah, <laughs> a black bull bar on the front there. That is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. A spare wheel on the back. And this one has... I'm trying to see in the back there. It doesn't appear to have anything in the back of this one. Uh, yeah, sometimes you get a variation with some stuff just in the, the rear boot area there. That's cool, I like that. And the last one from the Matchbox Off-Road Rally is the Jeep. The Jeep 4x4, metallic green, uh, big off-road wheels with the white trim. And uh, number nine team on the side there. That's really, really awesome. The CJ7 Jeep. Uh, this one has kind of like a roll cage roof piece. Spare wheel in the back seats there. Uh, this one also comes with a tow hook. That's pretty awesome. A uh, big bull bar on the front there. A big worn winch as well, judging by the W on there. And yeah, that's pretty awesome. I love the color. That's vibrant, I will have to say. Oh, all right, uh, there's a license plate in here. What is this? Oh, wow, that is awesome. Uh, I'm going to be putting this into my display cabinet I have just there. Uh, this is so awesome. Thank you so much for that. That is really, really awesome. Stars fell on Alabama. And it's got the music notes as well. Yes, that is so cool. All right, the heart of Dixie. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for that. That's really nice. I love stuff like that. It also has a uh, little ghosty pictures in there as well. Awesome, wow. You can't see them on one angle and then you turn it over and you can see that. That's cool, I like that. Awesome, I'm going to put that into my cabinet in just a moment, uh, straight after the show. Oh, I can see something else which is really cool in here as well. Look at this. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Uh, packaging out of the way. Packaging. Oh, that's heavy, what is that? I don't know what that is, but that was very, very heavy. Um, oh, oh, okay, there's still a couple of things left. There's a bag in here. And a bit of cardboard there, packaging. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but let's have a look at this M from Auto World, Mudden USA. And this one here is in a plastic uh, protector thing. Uh, like that's how it comes sealed. I didn't know that Auto World did these uh, style of clamshell packaging. Oh, very cool. Uh, this one has a newly tooled cow hood. Oh, it does too. You see that little bump in the center of there. Yes, awesome. Wonder if it's got a uh, supercharger on there. Look at the muddy tires and everything. Nice red paint job splattered with mud everywhere. Oh, it's awesome. There we go. Uh, what is this anyway? This is a 1983 Chevy Silverado K10 fleet side. Yeah, that's cool. I like this. 
they've got some uh, good good choices of cars in the box here i will have to say that is really really awesome and uh yeah i think we will open this one here up uh next week as well yeah i'd love to open this one here up and have a closer look at that and uh oh there we go uh modern surplus goodies and lot 57 supplies oh it's a collaboration okay well when i open this i'll be very careful to just take off just a little bit of that so we can just like uh, flick it open and still keep the packaging uh, but that's so awesome thank you again that is really really nice um pop this one down here and i'm just going to pull this out this is really heavy i don't know what is in here but that is so heavy there's an era car and i want to see what this is oh i uh, <laughs> i definitely went through the box the wrong way because uh sorry that is a empty box i've just pulled everything out of there we've still got this to have a look at over here on the side but i know exactly what that is so i'm going to leave that till last uh, but we did get a note so uh, just one second i can feel something inside here oh wow awesome we got some new twice die cast stickers check these out wow oh that is awesome that is awesome i still have the other ones that you gave me and uh, i'm going to actually put these on the window of my uh, display cabinet uh, because that's just really really awesome look at that look at that that's so awesome thank you so much uh, I'll pop these over there uh, grab the letter um, all right <laughs> we shall just read I just wanted to read it off camera quickly for a second uh, says Fex I'm watching a mystery box monday vid as i write this it's because of your faithful mystery box monday uploads that i thought i'd send you some of some gifts uh, we all love mbms each week and help get the week off on the right note on behalf of collectors around the world thank you thank you dave thank you dave i'd have to say you to be honest dave with twice diecast has actually done a lot more for the diecast community than i have um i just don't have as much time to be able to uh, dedicate as much as I'd like to to the uh, to the show uh, but I do try my best to upload as often as I can and uh, next throughout this week we'll also have more five packs I just needed to take the weekend off uh, here we go some notes Hot Wheels Collector National Convention bag Woo! Uh, Ford Falcon in acrylic oh so that's Ford Falcon in acrylic okay we'll get to this in just a second M2s, Auto Worlds and Johnny Lightnings, Alabama license plate, green light chase set, era car, uh, and Matchbox off-road rally set. Uh, no, I did not have this set, so thank you very much and your friend David. Uh, yes, once again, uh, everybody please go over to Twice Diecast channel and uh, just th say thank you from me. Uh, that is just incredibly awesome. Uh, let's get this open. Where's my knife? I just had my knife just not to... Um, there it is. I knew it was around somewhere. All right, let's have a look at this. A Ford Falcon in acrylic. That that would explain the weight because the weight is quite a lot. I'm going to leave this for last as well, uh, just because pretty cool. Oh, look at that! Oh, this is going on my desk immediately. Oh, wow. Dude, that is incredibly cool. Thank you so much for that. Look at the top there as well. Oh, I love that purple metallic color. Oh, there's the front there. Oh, that is so awesome. Wow, and there's the opposite side there. And that acrylic is crystal clear. Look at that. There's the rear there also. Oh, I'm blown away by your choices, uh, Dave. That is just, that is so cool. Yes, this is going to 100% live on my desk. And it's my uh, sweaty fingerprints I'm putting on there. <laughs> wow. Yep, that is 100% uh, going onto my desk. That is beautiful. I'm going to pop that up there in the center. That, that is so nice. Wow. 
And we also have the era car to have a look at, a Lexus LC500 in pearl white. Uh, first special edition 164 scale. Uh, yeah, once again, these era cars, just I just don't know where to buy them. They're just kind of like mystery cars to me because I've just got no idea about them. I, I don't even know what to say about them, to be honest. So let's just open it up and just appreciate the car for what it is. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Oh, that's a nice looking car so far. Look at this. Look at that. Yes, I know I'm still in the plastic for the moment. Oh, that is super cool. I'll right, we'll take this out. Look at the front of that. Yes, um, I only have one more era car in my collection. Uh, so this will be a nice little addition to have a, a little friend to hang out with. Look at this. Yes, very, very nice weight to this car as well. That's the nice uh, pearl essence. Uh, pearlescent white there. It has a, uh, a cream interior, oh not a cream, uh, a tan interior, black roof, right hand drive. Wow. It uh, has engine uh, detailing in there also. That is really, really cool. Yeah, that is very, very nice. So once again, thank you so much for that. Oh, does this door open? Oh, the door does open. I didn't even know if the door opened. Oh, cool. Let's get the other side open as well. That's a really nice fit with the window there. You can't even tell that it actually has openable doors. Look at that, yes. I get that to focus a little bit. That's actually quite a lot of detail in there. Even on the dashboard itself it has little vents and such there as well. Wow, that is really, really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, does the, the boot open? No. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. That is really, really cool. Um, what do we do first? We will do this first because this was the one item when he said that he was going to, when he sent me an email and said he wanted to send me a, a little gift box, I asked if there was a chance to be able to get one of these because these are the hardest things in the entire world to find here in Australia. And um, yeah, and he was very, very generous enough to send me one of these. So I am so happy. Uh, this will immediately be getting put into my display cabinet so it doesn't get any damage at all. Uh, but there we go, we have the 1977 Tirana A9X in the old Marlboro racing colors. And then we have the 1973 Holden Monaro GTS in a lovely metallic orange. Beautiful, beautiful car. Um, yeah, if you want to see one of these, check out Overtaking Lane. Uh, another another guy, Dave, owns uh, one of these as well. So check out Overtaking Lane if you want to see one of these cars. Yeah, uh, videos are a few years old now, but they are still there of his uh, Monaro, or his Kingswood, I should say. He's got a Kingswood in that color, I should say. That's so awesome. And uh, around the back there, I found this set. I found this set, could not find this set, and I've pretty much been all over the east coast of New South Wales, and uh, couldn't find that anywhere at all. So thank you, thank you so much for, for adding this into the box. That is absolutely awesome. Um, we'll just pop this down there, and we will check out the final items from the show. What do we got? <laughs> 24th Collectors and Nationals, Atlanta, Georgia, with a uh, flaming string bag, drawstring bag. What do we got? <laughs> That's cool. I love stuff like this. This is awesome. We get ourselves a crazy looking pen. Collectors Events Unlimited. There's a little sticker on there. Nice. Uh, it's got the uh, bad focus, I'm sorry, but there you go. That's pretty cool. We get the pen. We get a uh, Hot Wheels Collectors Convention and Nationals this notepad. Yeah, a little Hot Wheels Collectors notepad. Uh, we get some lanyards. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yes, I will use this for sure. That's so cool. A little stubby holder, as we call them here in Australia. And the last item is, what is this? What is this? 
Ah, okay. Uh, oh, it's a, um, a thing for your car. It's a smelly thing for your car. Oh, that's cool. I can't smell through the plastic, unfortunately, but yeah, it's got the little string there. So yeah, you hang this from the mirror in your car. That's cool. Um, I'm, if it is scented, I'm not going to open it. Um, yeah, but that's really, really cool. So yeah, that's cool. What a great little, uh, little gift box from Dave at Twice Diecast. Uh, just once again, so, thank you so much. Uh, I got, I'm going to use this tomorrow. I'm going to put a uh, can of Coke in this tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that's really awesome. That is so, I like the whole graffiti styling of this as well. So yeah, that's so nice. Nice fade color. I'm getting distracted. I am getting distracted. I will, uh, I'll be using this bag for my shopping probably and getting some good questions about how I had the bag from the 2024 Collector Nationals. I'll be able to say, well, I didn't go to it, but uh, check out Twice Diecast. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm so happy, guys. Like, you have no idea. Look at the license plate and everything. That's so cool. Uh, just thank you so much to Dave from Twice Diecast. Please, everybody, go over there, subscribe to his channel. You will not be disappointed in the slightest. And I'm, I'm just blown away by the generosity. Thank you so much. Uh, also, I will be having uh, a box sent your way in the not too distant future. And uh, yeah, so look forward to that in a future episode on his channel. And uh, yes, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much to Dave. And I just, I'm so happy. This is incredibly cool. Absolutely incredibly. Just absolutely perfect, perfect choices of vehicles. Uh, I couldn't be happier. And I just love stuff like this uh, because, well, I've got no chance of buying something like, well, actually I can buy these here in Australia, but it doesn't have any meaning. Whereas if it comes as a gift, I will never, ever, ever get rid of that. That'll stay on a permanent, permanent display. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for that. Uh, yes, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop rambling there. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we'll have more five pack videos out this week and uh, yeah, we'll see what else we have in the collection to show. Uh, next week and yeah and mystery box Monday next week is actually going to be pretty big because I've got a, a whole bag of stuff to show so yes look forward to that next week uh, probably another giant episode again next week uh, yes anyway guys that's it I'm stopping rambling now take care of yourselves be excellent to each other and I'll see you all next time bye guys <laughs>